welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, friend. So as you can tell from the title and thumbnail, this is a air sign, end of February reading. Um, so if you are a, an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra, this video is for you, sun, moon, rising, um, either one of those signs, air signs, this video is for you. So, um, air signs, before I started to pull the cards, um, I heard the words, the calm before the storm, um, like a cool breeze type of sound, like literally like air, like air was like, you know, coming through, um, and I could sense that in the reading as well. So starting out, we have the Six of Cups. Um, you may be being challenged right now to connect with your inner child. And also, um, so it's, it's kind of like two different things. You may be um, challenged, challenged right now to connect with your inner child. Or also something new um, has started and it's kind of taking a turn now. Like you're starting to see the bad from a, that was a good that started out as a good situation and you're kind of like confused with everything that's going on there's some confusion and also some insecurity um going on right now but you're being taken through a you're being taken through a, a a test right now and like to get you to the next point of ascension so you're about to go through some deep deep dark shadow works healing um type of energy um, because you're acting like everything is okay, but it's really not. <laughs> like the King of Swords is like, yeah, I'm fine. Everything is fine. Um, and literally the everything is fine card comes came up as well. Uh, also Ten of Swords. So it's like, yeah, everything is cool, but you got all this stuff back back there. All this stuff clouded in your mind. All this, you know, all these clouds, all these different things going on mentally. Um, but all of this is a part of your growth. All this is a part of your growth. So it's like you're you're in the air, you're up in the air, but right now Spirit's asking you to be get a little more grounded and become a little more centered. Um there's some back and forth going on, maybe dealing with your partner or um another energy that's surrounding you. Um, somebody not being who they said they were, or um things just changing, like they may have been one way, like you may have met them a certain way, and now you're starting to see the real them. Um so that's being, things are being revealed to you as well. Um, but things can change. Like you have the opportunity. This is, this is now the time for you to go within yourself to change, to, to go through this darkness and come out on the other side. Um, for you to realize, okay, what is it with me? Um, am I in alignment? Am, am I moving in divinity? Um, am I going to keep encountering these same situations? Am I going to keep encountering these same kind of people? Um, because right now you're being taken through a point of growth and you have to keep your faith as well as forgive. So when, when all of this comes up, this is heavy shadow work. Forgiveness, faith, and growth is heavy, heavy shadow work because you also have the star card and expansion. So you're being taken through this dark period. You're being taken through these ups and downs, this roller coaster, this everything is fine type of energy because spirit is, is taking you through this so you can come out on the other side um, and be able to refill your own cups. You know what I'm saying? Like you're going to be able, you're going to get to the point to where you're going to be pouring more love into yourself you're about to be pouring more knowledge into yourself because it's time you're going through a growth period you're going through a, a, a growth and ascension so you're you're going deep within dealing with your your deep dark side your shadow and everything of that nature queen of cups and the moon so you're you're about to learn how you're taking yourself through a period where you're learning how to control your emotions on the outside and you're also, but it's also time to deal with them as, as well. Okay. We deal, the, the moon is heavy with our intention and our emotions. So if you have to cry it out, if you have to go to the water, tap into some water energy, go through this because it's, it's very much needed because you're going to turn that 10 of swords. You're going to turn this, everything is fine into 10 of pentacles. Okay. You have to go through this dark period. This five of cups energy is going to be dark. It's going to be a little lonely. Um, it's going to be some tears. It's going to be a time of release. This is heavy, heavy, heavy release. And a part of releasing is forgiving. Forgiving forgiving your past, forgiving your past traumas, your family, whoever hurt you, 
really sitting with that, going through it, telling yourself how you felt, you know, reliving these situations and actually going through them so that you can learn and grow from them and forgiving these people because you're know, turning this ten of this ten of swords into a ten of pentacles, grounding the ultimate grounding and restarting. Um, because ultimately it's all a part of alignment and ascension, the two of cups, that kundalini energy, that balancing yourself out and, and expanding, expansion and ascension. So you're, we're clearing this fog, we're getting rid of these insecurities, we're dealing, we're dealing with some shit, okay? <laughs> Sorry for the cursing, but that's what that's what time it is, air signs. It's time to really deal with your deal with yourself. Deal with everything that you've been through. Deal with your traumas. Deal with your dark side so that you can come out on the other side growing and expanding, okay? Release, 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 okay? Release, clear that fog, and ground yourselves, okay? I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, shop the website. If you would like a personal reading, contact me for personal readings, um, all that good stuff. Thank you guys. Love you. Bye.